drop it down in here. A little twist and hold. That completes all of our water line connections. So the plumbing, for the most part, besides on the finish side, is done. Well, not really. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting in for the toilet hole here that's gonna go down into our black water tank. And I don't know if you notice that smell, but they've put wool insulation in the floor. It smells like burning sheep. This once was a little sheep, a little lamb that lived on a grassy knoll somewhere. And he's probably still there because they don't have to kill a sheep to get the wool. Putting my smaller hole saw on, there's a beam, I hope, right on the edge. I hope I'm not going through a beam, but it's, it is like so close. I'm gonna drop this pipe down into this hole and then I'm gonna have to mark around the top of my black water tank. Brian's father-in-law came out here and he actually welded up a rack for the Blackwater tank to sit on. Now you'll notice that Blackwater tank sits pretty low. That's because the main frame support of the bus, it sits very low. So this has to sit underneath that. All right guys, next I've got my rubber grommet here. I'm gonna go ahead and install it in my hole. I can put the link for this in the video description so you kind of know what you need if you're doing something similar to this. These fittings actually came with the tank. You don't have to use these. You can just have your pipe come down into this. But since they gave me these, I'm gonna go ahead and use them. And the best way to get these into this rubber grommet is to put some dish soap around there so it slides in there nice and clicks into place. Down here I have my vent pipe that I'm gonna ha come over and come down into my tank. But before I do that, I'm going to connect in all my drain pipes here. So I have this laid out in here, pretty much how this is gonna go, just to kind of give you guys an idea. This pipe wraps around, connects into my 90 over here, and then comes to my three-way, and my three-way's got basically a 90 and then an inch and a half. That's where the gray water connects in. And then I've gotta come 90 down out of the bus where this will connect up into the bottom where they can connect their sewer pipe and their main valve is right here for their black water. The other valve for the inch and a half will be sitting over here somewhere. What? Oh yeah, I need this. Thank you. That's my inch and a half valve that I need. want that to kind of slightly angle down. <laughs> I've got to drill a hole straight down through the floor right here. Guys, I've got a Hercules hole saw here from Harbor Freight. The Harbor Freight $20 Hercules hole saw versus the $40 Milwaukee hole dozer. Which one's better? I've already cut through the wood, which is not a problem. But now I've got to cut through this metal. As you can see, it is not cutting through this metal. This blade is hardly even scarring the inside here of where the metal needs to be cut. That is such a drastic difference. I've got my two and a half inch piece cut here. Get some glue on it. Uh, oh, I'm gonna get it all sick. Push in and twist and down we go. Like a master plumber would do. Now next is my piece that the sewer hose attaches into and I want this snugged up as far as I can get it in there. We don't want anything hanging down real low from the bus.
All right guys, so we have the complete gray water and black water system all tied together. Everything is finished, everything's glued together. I know every system is different. I was having a big issue trying to figure out how to tie the gray water into the same outlet port as the black water. It was a little complicated because they couldn't find one tank that would fit in this entire opening. So they actually opted for two tanks. This one's a little bit shorter and not as long. So I actually had to build it up on a platform so that it's the same height. So as these tanks filled up, they're filling up at the same height. Kind of snakes around and ties in our gray water with the black water. So everything will come out the same port. That's what I was looking for. That's what I want to do. And it is accomplished. I posted a short on YouTube that's actually getting quite a bit of attention. I think it's at close to 10,000 views right now regarding the two different hole saws I was using. So I want to tell the full story because I've received some comments of like, oh, you didn't do a fair comparison. One, you were standing. The other one, you were kneeling, blah, blah, blah. You guys actually will see in this video how I was standing and trying to get the hole saw to go through and it wouldn't. Come on! Is it even cutting? And that's why I went to Home Depot, picked up the Milwaukee holdozer, which cut through the metal like butter. Another person has said, you're sponsored by Milwaukee. I'm not sponsored by Milwaukee. Never have gotten anything free from Milwaukee. We wish we were sponsored by Milwaukee. Yeah, that'd be nice. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe so that if we post another video and when we post videos, you'll get notified. And give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.